stopping by and if you're a returning subscriber I thank you for rocking with me all right <laughs> listen today's video I'm going on a trip I'm going on a trip going on a trip I'm so excited to go away I mean it's something that you know you kind of need sometimes just to get away and recharge and <sighs> Just that. Just really recharge and, you know, get yourself back on track. And I so need it. My husband needs it. We need it as a couple. Um, uh, we're going to be there for like two days or a day and a half pretty much by ourselves. And then um, my friend Kathy's going to join us. And I got my beanie out. I ain't saying where I'm going, but I'm going somewhere, y'all. <laughs> And I plan to have fun. My Kathy's going to meet us there um, Saturday morning. And we're just going to have a blast. So if you're interested, just keep watching. Morgan's in LA, Mark's in Vegas, and um, <laughs> I'm here. And so today I am going to get my hair cut and a few little last minute things for my trip. I'm not really buying a lot for my trip because I'm going shopping when I get there. I know I haven't said really where I'm going yet, but um, I'm, I know I'm going shopping when I get there and so um, I don't want to get too much before I go um, it's cold um, for Cali <laughs> it's been cold it's been chilly I had to t put my heater on this morning to knock the chill off the house uh, I normally sleep with my window open and stuff oh, I gotta take this down so, um, yeah, today's a haircut day and um, a few little, I think I need like a black pair of sweats. I'm going to get that while I'm here. And then I am coming back home, um, try to get my wardrobe planned out for, for my trip. Um, again, it's not like I'm gonna need some, you know fancy stuff for my trip. It's not that kind of trip, but I will need warm things. So, and I don't really have a lot of that. So I'm gonna go and um, get myself together. Got my wax. Got my hair cut. Well, getting my hair cut and. Um, that's that. So today is Tuesday. Mark will be back tomorrow. Morgan will be home probably tonight. So I'll probably sleep a little better. But <laughs> you guys just see I got my door rigged. I got the alarm is on, of course, but I got my door. Um, <laughs> I got like a, a cabinet. I pulled it in front of the front door. And I put my hair rack in front of the, the garage door. Doors locked, alarm on, all that. And then I got a big old knife next to my bed. Like if somebody make it past all that and I don't hear them. Cause we live in a three story. So, uh oh. We live in a three story. So, you know, I, I just feel like I'm not gonna be able to hear enough if I don't do all that so pray for me y'all <laughs> I'm a whole 50 51 years old today's look is 
I have on my Hanifa um, cardigan and some light sweats from Aritzia. They're nice and thick. I'm actually gonna go get a black pair today. <laughs> That's my goal. Um, this white tank top from, and it's kind of got this racer front from H&M. My Zara black hat, Balenciaga bag and shoes, and um, these are the expanders. You can't really, oh, there you go. You can kind of see them. That's the look for today. And uh, simply me, I have a Fenty, I think it's called Hint, um, which is just a lip balm. Um, no makeup. I may go put a little concealer. Oh, I have on my little Melinda Maria uh, cuff right there and my LV earrings. So, again, this is a look where, you know, everything is super simple. It's just how you accessorize it, you know? I don't know. You may not even like this look, but I dig it. I think it's cute. I never get to wear this card again, so I just pulled it out. And um, it drags the floor a little bit, but it's okay. Here to get my hair cut. Oh, um, I don't really want to cut a lot. Of course, my top is just... Mm, she may not have to touch that at all because it is kind of skimpy, but around, like around here, this midsection of my hair grows like crazy all the way around like a clown. Like if I was going to be bald, I would be that kind of bald, this bald, bald up here and then a whole bunch of hair <laughs> around the side. But that's not going to happen to me. Man, this Hanifa uh, cardigan. I'm walking through the mall, just dragging the floor. And these, these ladies are loving. I'm in South Coast Plaza. They are loving this purple cardigan. Man, I've had like several people asking me where it's from. But one lady just took the, the name down. I spelled it out for her. <laughs> and she... She jotted it down right away. Only thing is, it's probably discontinued right now, but oh well. Still had to tell them about Hanifa because it's black owned, you know? Y'all better know. Went to um, Aritzia to get some black sweats and a sweatshirt. And then I went in um, Bloomingdale's on the way out. I went in Bloomingdale's on the way out to get um, just like a plain, plain black shirt, plain white shirt, like undershirts, because where I'm going, it might be kind of cool and just stuff to layer with. And so um, I went in there and the shirts were exactly what I needed. They weren't too thick for me to wear here and they were enough for me to layer there, you know. Um, all the other ones I saw today were, were too thick. So the shirts that I got, um, they cost, they were a little costly to me, like um, $68. And they were just regular like long sleeve t-shirts. But they really felt soft. And I don't want to be um, restricted in any way. So I decided to go ahead and get them. And lo and behold, I had, I be forgetting that I had like rewards points from, from Bloomingdale's. I had one for $75 and three for $25. <laughs> so... I went back, I got the, I had the black one and the white one, and I went back and got the gray one. Favor. Hey y'all, it's still, um, 
got a box in. I'm opening the box as I'm talking to you guys. Um, still Tuesday, October 19th. And I got my package. These are my shoes that I was supposed to get yesterday. Came today. I ordered them from um, the site online. They didn't take too long to get here. Um, they are the... I don't know what kind of boots they're called, but they're the Bottega Veneta um, I don't see a Oh, there go. Let me see. oh no, I don't see a piece of paper, but anyway, they're the, the um, tractor boots, the ones with the green at the bottom, and these are in a size 41. Um, I tried the 40 and a half, and of course my foot was in it, but this 41 should work fine, so. Got these, of course it, come, it comes with two dust bags, one for each boot. And it comes in this nice green box. Let me see if it says the name of the boot on here. Um, it would help if I turn it right side up. But here's another tag on top. No, guys, doesn't have a name. I'll find out the name and put it on the screen. Okay, so that's the first thing that came today. And then I have one more box, which in FedEx, which I don't know what it is. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't know what it is. So let me rip her open. I just left um, the mall. I'm gonna show you guys what I got from the mall, which I'm so excited that I was able to get these shirts for dang near $20-something. $70 shirts. <laughs> Actually, they were on sale, so they were really $90. And um, I think I already said I had rewards points at Bloomingdale's. Oh, maybe these are, oh, these are the shoes. Okay, so these came, you guys, I got these from kicksellers.com. Kicksellers.com. And um, these are, I'm not sure if these are dupes of the foam runners. Cause I don't think these foam runners actually come in this <laughs> red color, but I have the actual, um, the authentic ones upstairs. I'm gonna go and examine these and see, I have them in, um, like that off white color. And so I'm going to go and compare these. Cause when I tell you now you might not like the way these look, I get it. You know, they're very futuristic, <laughs> very um, Ninja Turtle-ish, a whole bunch of stuff. But when I tell you, this is the most comfortable shoe. If this is the real thing, this thing is, I mean, it's most comfortable, more comfortable than my Crocs. And, you know, I'm a Croc fan. I don't like the way Crocs look, and I have bedazzled mine to make them, you know, palatable for me. But, whoo, like I could wear those off-white ones every day. They're so comfortable that I got Mark a pair and he's in love with his. So these are from kicksellers.com and they, Kicksellers, um, sponsored this portion of the video. So um, they sent me these and um, I'm super, super, super pleased 
with them. I'm going to go put them on and I'm going to compare them so that we can do these justice. And then you guys can go to kicksellers.com and order you a pair. Mwah. I didn't really put my lips on them. Okay, so the ones that I have, they did come in this kind of box. It says Foam Runner. These are um, Yeezy Foam Runners. That's what's in the bottom of the box um, by Adidas. So let me take this. Oh, let me take that off. So I got a size 11. Um, and yeah. And so it says Foam Runner on the box. Just like the original box. Nothing fancy. Kanye, he ain't doing nothing fancy with his. Um, it says, you came back, back to the future. Thank you. Now that you're a stock X regular, a few things to remember. Free shipping after every five purchases. Track your buyer purchase at my account. Buying, selling. Sell, selling is dead simple. Choose a shoe and click sell. No pics, no description, just sell. What can we do better? Email. I don't know what this is. I don't know. I don't know about StockX in this program, but let's see. Snap a pic. Show us your verified authentic tag. Upload to Instagram, hashtag StockX. Get featured, brag to your friends, StockX. So maybe that's what they want me to do. Okay, you guys, I came up putting my lounge clothes on because I'm not going anywhere else today. Um, I hope this is enough light. Um, let me see, let me pull some more light in. So I'm gonna compare my authentic foam runners to these and like i said i'm not sure if these are authentic or not but i know that these are so um i'll start off by saying that the red ones are bigger um i'm not sure i was looking on here to see if i could see a size on either pair and I don't. Maybe it's on the side. Yeah, I don't know what size, but I'm sure I ordered an 11. I told them an 11 in here, but I'm not sure what size these are. I got these in store, and so I was able to try them on. And so I think I sized down now that I'm thinking about it. And I probably should have checked that out before I ordered these. But listen, you guys, let me tell you, I don't think these shoes have any seams on them anywhere. Um, but this is like the most comfortable shoe. It's so comfortable. I'm probably going to send these back just for size. That's the only thing. But because everything on the shoe is the same. Let me do it like this so you can see the whole shoe. Everything on the sides are the same. Every hole placement, every seam, or not seam, the um, little around here, all of that is the same. Now these, I've worn these and they're dirty. Um, but when I put them on my foot, other than this one feeling a little bit bigger, they don't feel any different. So, I'll say that. Um, and again, remember, these shoes are dirty. But everything on the bottom is the same. It's the same. Then let me show you this side. Yeah. So kicksellers.com 
you guys order from them there I got mine really really quick I think I ordered these they sent them out on um, October 11th and today is the 19th and I got them oh and you can use um, code Nadra at kicksellers.com and get $10 off of a purchase of $160 or more so um, just spend $160 and you can get 10 <laughs> you're welcome good morning it is Wednesday the 20th and I am um, I am up bleaching my hair for my upcoming trip um, I'm bleaching it still I'm, I'm still going back and forth <laughs> as to whether I want to, uh, I'm not going to do it right now, but you know, after the month of October is up, I said to myself that I was going to dye my hair black and let it grow out a little bit. Um, not sure, still not sure whether I want to do that or not. Even if I just let it grow out just a little and then bleach it again, um, but while it's growing, I can't be bleaching it because it'll just snap off as I'm trying to let it grow out. So if I just keep, you know, while I keep putting bleach on it, the bleach makes my hair really, really straight. So let's see. Today, my agenda is just trying to get packed up. Um, uh, any last minute things that Mark or myself need. And... Um, I'm being nosy looking out the window, seeing what's going on. Heard a little car. Didn't know who that was. But anyway, um, yeah, so that's my day. Just whatever last minute stuff. I got to go pick him up from the airport. He comes in from Vegas today. And I'll pick him up and we'll get ready to go. I'm excited. Okay, so this is me after... 45 minutes of bleaching. Let me get in the light so you guys can really see. Um, after 45 minutes of bleaching under a bag, this is um, how I come up. I still see a little yellow around the sides. I, you guys might not, be able to, might not be able to see that, but I still see a little yellow, so I'm gonna go. Um, I'm going to go in one more time with the bleach just for about 15 minutes. Okay, now there's no yellow. It's all white. Normally it gets yellow around the short parts where, you know, the, the she cuts it shorter. So it was blacker. It was more black hair under there. And, um... This part always gets white, but it's normally around here where I see yellow where the, the, you know, black didn't come all the way up. Now I'm going to tone it with um, Igora by Schwarzkopf, Royal High Lifts, and in the shade 1211. I always use the same um, toner, and this will kind of give me not so much of a harsh look, so... You'll see in a minute. I mixed up too much. I always do. I only have a teaspoon of hair, but my head is big, so I always, you know, think I'm not mixing up enough, and I end up mixing too much. But I also use, along with this um, Schwarzkopf Igora Royal High Lifts. Whew, that's a long name. Um, along with that. In the shade 1211, I use 10 volume peroxide. Any 10 volume peroxide, um, normally a cream peroxide I use. So I'm going to put this on, and I'm probably just going to leave it on for like um, two, uh, 10 to 12 minutes. Mm -hmm. It depends on how, how it normally looks pink. I'll show you. It'll, it'll look really pink looking when it's time to come off so 
Okay, so you see, just for me putting it on in the top, I normally start right up in here, so it's getting more pink in the top, and it's been on that part of my hair for probably like, um, I wanna say four minutes or so. And then I do the outside last, because again, it's short and um, has a tendency to get a little more lavender looking around the sides and it or I don't know it kind of just gets this funky color where it, it blends in with my skin so I didn't look at the time when I first put it on but um, whew, strong. um I would say I'm probably going to leave it on another four to five minutes and then I'm gonna rinse it out, wash it out. Good morning, it is Thursday, October 21st, and I'm getting on the plane today. I'm going on a trip, I'm going on a trip. I'm still not gonna say where I'm going. Um, you guys will see shortly. I leave today and I am packing. I've been throwing stuff in my bag and I realized, oh shoot, I have packing cubes. You guys um, know about packing cubes yet? By the way, I plan to be cute every day, even if it's like a casual cute. I'm be, normally when I, you know, I won't say that because that's gonna give it away. But um, yeah, I plan to be cute every day on my trip. Just saying. And I'm getting dressed for me, like today, what am I wearing to the airport? I get in at like 10.55. Nobody's going to see me where I'm going. But, you know, I'm going to be cute on the, on the plane. <laughs> I guarantee you that. I have a straight flight and nobody's going to see me. I don't have a layover or nothing. But I'm going to be cute on the plane. I'm going to be cute for me. You know? I don't have nothing to do with nobody else. But anyway, so I realized I had these packing cubes. Normally, I pack my... um. And I'm washing my sheets, so that's why my bed is bare like this. But normally, I pack all my incidentals and stuff in here. I got this bag from, it's actually a makeup case from MAC. And it has plastic stuff and all that kind of stuff. So I'm probably, these just Velcro out. They Velcro out, so I'm probably going to put them in my packing cubes and then just leave this because my plan was to put this in my smaller suitcase with my big boots um, and shoes and stuff but I don't think that's going to work it's because it is a smaller suitcase and the boots are chunky and I'm taking them because I want to wear them but um I think I'm gonna try the packing cubes and see. So packing cubes, um, I bought some new luggage this year and they got me with these packing cubes. These were kind of expensive. I can't remember how much, but I just remember they were expensive and I got three. So I got two of the larger size ones and one of the, I think this is medium, like a medium size. But then, I messed around. I was on Amazon one day. And look, a whole case of them. So, let's see. Two, three, four. That's four of like the large size ones. So, Ramoa got me. That's, that's who I bought them, my luggage from. They got me. You know, I got, I got, but I know better now. And I'm telling you guys, don't buy them. You can get them on Amazon and they came in a packet of four. Um, they're not as structured, but I get the feeling once I put my stuff in them, they'll be structured. So, um, yes, I'm going to pack. I'm trying to, my husband doesn't know this, but we, we don't leave until like, 
almost two o'clock out of LAX. And so um, I have a 1020 appointment to get my booster shot. And I would like to have that booster shot before I go away. So <laughs> I'm gonna um, dart out of here and try to get that done beforehand. Um, and that way I will um, just have that out the way. You know what I mean? Peace of mind. All right. Let me get myself together. Okay, so I'm done packing my cubes, my uh, packing cubes. So in this one, I just have all my toiletry stuff. And I took these these out of my case um, that I would normally take. The ones with the Velcro at the bottom out of the makeup case that I showed you. Um, I'm going to use these still for my makeup is in here. And then my, and this one is all my incidentals. Um, and I just put in the side right here just to be easily accessible, my medication. Um, just in case I need to, like, you know, get in my suitcase and get something real quick. Okay, and then this one. <clears throat> sorry. I have um, my set lotion in a bag, just in case, you know, that any spills. I have a candle. I like to take a candle with me, um, put in my room. Um, this one needs to go in the one with the makeup. But then I have, well, I could just leave it in here. It's fine. Oh, I do have these. I have my, my uh, battery for my camera, my battery chargers. Um... In here, I do have some makeup, so I'll just keep this in here. I just have my compacts in there because they kind of, that's why I did that, because they're kind of bulky to go in those those things. And I have some body cream and um, perfume in this one. Okay, and this one, and that just goes in, in here. This is my African sponge. This one, um, I have like my undershirts um, and pajamas. That's what's in here. And then this one, that goes over here. Um, I have like some Spanx and um, underwear and hats, like beanies, things like that, socks are in this one so I will just zip these up let's see if I can put you guys right here you can see how they look all done but I'm gonna zip them up and just throw them in my suitcase let's see if we can get you to see here and just zip right up like that and the ones from Amazon they come with a little handle so that's cool um, <laughs> the ones that came from Ramola, which, was, which is where I got my luggage, they don't have a handle. Go figure. Um, but they are nice and sturdy and structured, you know? So that would be the difference, I would say. And this one, I have to stuff a little bit. But this is just to keep organization. That's what these are meant to do. And um, I used these before, so I do enjoy them. All right, so that's that. And this one. So I have this suitcase here I just kind of like toss my clothes in there that way um not taking a whole lot with me uh what goes in this one Let's see my toiletries I'm gonna put in this suitcase and in this one I just have a little bag right there and I'm gonna put these 
the clothes and this one, I think. I think that's how I had it. I just unpacked it so I could show you guys what I was doing, what I, my direction was. But um, I think that's how I had it. Okay, I just, um, I'm just i gonna finish up my, my detox tea because I've been drinking it all morning. Because um, I think when, whenever I travel, I keep cutting you guys off, sorry. Whenever I travel, I tend to get constipated, so might be TMI, sorry. But, um, so I'm doing the detox tea in order to get in front of that situation. And I'm gonna go run my little quick errands real quick. And uh, I'm trying to wait for my sheets. I got seven minutes left on my sheets to get done. And before I leave, I would like to um, change my sheets and make up my bed so I can have that out the way. Ooh, because I don't want to come home to have to do that. We get home pretty late, I think. My flight comes in late, so. Okay, I'm here at uh, Kaiser to get my booster shot. And I am praying, since I'm pressed for time, um, it looks like when I made the appointment that, hold on guys. When I made the appointment, um, come on, door lock. I think my battery must be low for my key. There we go. Um, I think when I made the appointment, it showed that it was off Grand. And when I got off on Grand to come to Target, I noticed that there's a whole full um, Kaiser over here in Chino, Chino Hills. So. I'm assuming that this is where I'm supposed to be. I'm gonna run in here real quick and see if that's the case. Um, this is where I get my booster shot. I don't see why it would be anywhere else. But this is nice over here. I didn't know that this was even over here. I normally go to the one in Corona. Okay, so there's um, quite a few people out here waiting ahead of me. They told me it would probably be about 20 minutes. And um, so I'm going to give them the 20 minutes. Um, I think it's going to go fairly quickly. I am in good timing. My appointment was at 1020. And it's... Um, it's 1020 now, so I can, um, I pretty much, I got what I needed to get from Target, just like lotion and soap, and I did get some Benadryl, but I remember the last booster that I got for uh, the Pfizer booster, it made me really, really sleepy, so I may not need the Benadryl for my flight. I'm not gonna take it unless I need it to, uh, to relax and go to sleep. <laughs> on this long flight. It's, it's just a few people out here waiting. Like one, two, three, four. Looks like four ahead of me. They told me about 20 minutes, so. Um, as long as I leave by 11, I'll be good. Because Mark wants to leave at 11.40 to head to the airport. First he told me 12, then of course today, you know. First he told me 12 when we were gonna go ride with his friend. We were gonna go to his friend's house, leave our car. And then, um, so to do all that, I saw why he wanted to leave early just to make sure that we, you know, weren't pressed for time. But now Morgan is gonna take us. She's taking us to the, um, to the airport, so. We ain't even got to deal with the car situation and now we got to leave earlier. <laughs> I love my husband. Well, we ain't going to never do is be late. 
Okay, so I got my third Pfizer shot, my booster, and um, they gave me my old card, but they also gave me a new card. So I gotta go get my new card laminated when I get back. Um, I think, what is it? Staples, I think they still do the lamination for free. So I'm gonna take this back up there even if I got to pay for it, I will. Because it's worth having it laminated. But I am going to put it in a little plastic baggie and take it with me. <laughs> they were in there. I, had to, I gave the girl my coat because she liked my shoes. Um, I got these from kicksellers.com. Kicksellers. Um, and they are... I mean, when I tell you these are the most comfortable shoe, I have ever had on my foot i think i said this already but they're really comfortable and she was like are they really i keep hearing that they're super comfortable are they really that comfortable and i'm like yes like these are too big for me <laughs> and i still got them on so that tells you something um uh, she told me stay hydrated today so i'm going to um, drink lots of water but I'm flying so that might be a little bit challenging I don't know hopefully it makes me sleepy like it did the last time and um, I can you know sleep for most of this flight alright I got it done hopefully this shot won't affect me. Last time I was really, really sleepy and I did have a slight headache, so. Mm hmm. She said I could take, if I was really sore or too sore, that I could take um, um, a Motrin, but four hours from now. So it's 10 45 pretty much. So maybe once I get on the plane, if I have to take take a um, pain pill. Why am I so shiny? I'm super oily today or something. Oh. And I'm going to keep moving my arm today and uh, <laughs> drink lots of water. Once I get on the plane, I mean, if I got to get up and go use that bathroom, I just got to do it. But I wanted to get this booster. I think that's super important. You know, I want to be part of the solution, not the problem. Think about that, y'all. Los Angeles International Airport is proud to welcome and support our active duty military and their families. Ready? Ready. Ready. More than ready. More than ready. More than ready. I mean, like. Beyond ready. I'm so excited to be away. Right. With you. So am I. <laughs> this flight is so comical. Somebody oh, just. Oh my god. This is, this is the most. <laughs> Somebody just uh, lit, up a joint. lit a joint or something out here on the plane. <laughs> Can you smell it? Yeah. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> they did not put her phone on airplane mode because she's so she gonna be the next one they mess with. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't too too short. This one wasn't a long video. Look, I'm ready to get out of town. I'm ready to get out of town. <laughs> oh man! You know, if you did, then please, you know, like, comment. Let me know what you like, um, what you think you might order. If you if you think you might order from kicksellers.com, you know, let me know down in the comments. But I'm always looking for video suggestions. So if you don't mind, you know, kind of leave it down below in the comment section. Like, subscribe. Um, follow me on Instagram. I, I post on Instagram at least. I, I got to get a little bit better because I've just been doing it really once a week. But um, I... Yeah, follow me on Instagram. I, I give a lot of style inspiration there. And, um, you know, 
just some good nuggets sometimes, you know. So if you uh, are on Instagram, follow me there. And if you have any questions or comments, either leave them down in the comment section or you can DM me if it's something you don't want to put um, online. You know, you can DM me or in the description box I'll have, box, I'll have my email for any other business inquiries, okay? So please, please, please let me know what you think about this video. All right? Give me a thumbs up.